is true. That's gross. Things like that. You can edge guard with it. It, it does everything. And then Arc Thunder lost a lot of its combos, but it does 30%. And it can kill. Uh, yeah. Uh, and Thoron is a death laser now, instead of a kind of useless death laser. Yeah. So. Like, like, they've actually put a lot of utility behind every part of Robin's kit. Yeah. So I'm curious to see how well Jewel holds his own against Light, who... Kid's yeah, Light, spitfire, obviously the favorite here. Uh, the number one seed tonight, I believe. Uh, and he's been doing extremely well so far. Uh, you guys, if you guys were just watching, you heard Light say, this this character plays more like Brawl Fox than Smash 4 Fox. Uh, but he's, you know, moved into this engine. And move that he does. Fox's yeah. movement is phenomenal. Ooh. I remember and trying to dispel the... Um, the rumors of this character being bad, like, immediately. Like, yeah. liter literally, the first opportunity that we've had our hands on this, I, t I asked my local Fox players, like, hey, do a few rounds with this character. I want to see what's up. Yeah. And just moves so yeah. well. And the combo game is still there. It's a little bit different. It's very different, but yeah. one important factor of Fox that's still there, and we're already seeing that a ton in this, just this one game, is how useful Nair is. Yeah, we I was talking about that during ZD's set. Um, it's not only like a, a kill confirm now, like you know the the nair into up smash. Oh, that good play right there. Uh, arc fire up smash. That is a confirm now. You can't really fall out of arc fire anymore. Uh, yeah, like the way nair works now is is totally different from Smash Four, and it's like a combo two all the time. It's not just like for nair up smash. Oh, oh that was beautiful, and that's gonna kill a fantastic conversion from Jewel, and he's now up a stock. Funny how that works. That was just really smart play from Jewel at the ledge. That was incredible. He's even gonna use those frost returns. Look the how much that bit. heals now. That's that's one of the biggest things they buffed here that kind of like flies under the radar. I think for Robin, Nosferatu heals you like 15, 20 percent now. Yeah, no. Oh, I, I love that Jewel is really using that you can jump out of charge now. Right there, we see it just gives Robin and any character like that access to so many more options when like they're it. trying to land, when they're trying to mix you up. As a sour spot Ooh. almost kills right there, but he's gonna survive. I love Jules' movement in the air right now. His movement was always one of his best features as For a sure. player. And he's making so many good decisions, he, but Light is of course able to keep up with them. But I think that's just indicative of how good both of these players are behind these characters. That Light, Light just, just uh, low profile thunder by landing. <laughs> that's what we Not call landing lag, the smart. Just landing. <laughs> oh, good Fortnite right there. Super high Definitely recovery. at kill percent. Honestly, throughout this match, I, I I could just see either of these players just exploding both percentages. For sure. Joel without the 11 sword now. Oh, that was great right there. Charge Thunder to just jump out as a landing option instead of getting in a tech chase situation. Light famously so good at reacting to tech chases. And he gets the, the kill off dash attack up air there. Yup. You read the jump up. Yeah. With air dodging being such a bad option in a lot of situations now, you're going to get a lot more jump reads like that. And we saw a good play right there by Light. Dash Tech catches the double jump with the up air. That move's still very, very strong. That game one felt like it went, just went so fast. Yeah. Well, I mean, Light's games always have. But, like, this is three-stock, and that felt like as long as, like, the two-stock games in Smash 4. Yeah. I mean, it's like... Cause, and Jewel, like, Robin is a character who has zoning capabilities, but Jewel has always played the character very quickly. Yes. You know, Smash 4, like, in Smash 4, Jewel was, like, a very aggressive Robin. Uh, would like to just swing a lot, get his, get his items as soon as possible, and play around with items. Uh, and just like get in your face with a book or with a sword or something. And yep. he's sort of keeping that playstyle, but less item focused, more just like pressure focused in this game. And he's still playing very aggressive, which is really interesting to see how that goes against Light, who's like a famously very aggressive fox, who's a very aggressive character. Now, from what I understand, the books have actually gotten a slight nerf to them. They don't have yeah. as good of uh, knockback across all They're of them. They're a little less crazy now. <laughs> I know um, Nosferatu is still the strongest of them if he ever gets it. And it's a bit easier to get to it now, now that Nosferatu has less uh, right. leg, so he Which can just cycle through the Which I think is actually a buff, to be honest. Oh, yeah, and the great thing is a, like a good niche move, but also like it's your quickest way to get a book if you get left alone for a minute. Yeah. So I th that's that's a way that like I saw Robin start to use it at the end of Smash Four, and I really like that. But <laughs> oh. He just wants to stay in there forever, so I'm just going to like... He's just adjusting the... <laughs> just gonna I just I, I've noticed Cameraman these, like, Devin. remotes the, that Devin yeah. has. I was so confused earlier. I was like... Oh, huh? Here he goes. All right. <laughs> so we're staying with the Fox Robin matchup here. Oh, you're having a ton of fun. With Light roll oh, up his sleeves. No Thank you, Cameraman Devin. <laughs> Not a T.O., streamer and cameraman. <laughs> anyway, here we are on FD for game two. Uh, that game one was super last hit. Uh, Joel looking really good. 
<laughs> Let me just say, now we go to FD I love here. that the Target's music from Melee is... I love it. Like, I feel like it's the most fitting thing for Light, because if you've ever it's watched great. past videos of Melee Fox clearing <laughs> Target practice, is the funniest thing. Ooh, I love that setup right there, the Art Fire down smash. Uh, I think there was a Wave Bounce Art Fire onto the stage. Uh, there were so many movements, it was hard to tell if it was that or a jump out of a charge or something. Oh, I love the way Jewel is moving. This is the first person I've seen really use the charging, uh, the jump out of charge mechanic to his advantage this well. And I really like the way it's going right now. If oh, that would have been so cool. If there's any of our local players that I trust to develop the meta of their character, like on a larger scale than just here in Tri-State, it's Jewel with Robin. He's sure. always been such a, like a front runner of what the character's tools can do. And even when he popped onto the scene, he did so in dramatic fashion. Yeah, I remember playing him at a Xeno and being like, you know, I, I play Robins all the time. Like, okay, this is the Robin matchup. I know the Robin matchup. I've never seen anyone who plays exactly like him. And not necessarily in like a better or worse way, just like he plays a completely different character. And I've never really seen anyone who plays the character the way he does. And it looks like in Ultimate, he plays, he's playing differently. Like this doesn't look like the way he played Smash 4, but it still looks like Jewel. Like it, it makes a lot of sense that this is like the way he's playing the character now. Yeah. Almost getting the kill right there. Next up, Smash will do it. Yeah, Jewel needs to figure something out, though, because unlike the game one, Light's definitely running a lot of the momentum that he's garnered. Oh, man. I thought Light was dead there. Not quite. Elf Thunder will probably kill him. But he's got to land first. Oh, oh yep. Oh, that, he's back. That is not the expected ending. Good recovery from Jewel right there. And Light goes down. Uh, giving up the first duck. Not too much of a bad situation for him with how far of a, much of a lead he has, but still Jewel not out of this yet. I think one thing to appreciate out of Light's play is the adaptations he's made in this set because he hasn't just been running the same game plan and hoping it's working. One thing sure. that he's uh, done a lot more of is just Tomahawks waiting to check Jewel's movement with Nair instead of just trying to check everything. Because he's recognized that yeah. Jewel is able to respond accordingly to these Nairs and doesn't necessarily have to respect the, how much space Fox is able to cover quickly. But now we've seen a lot more forward airs. We saw him like yeah. more towards the end of game one and a lot here in game two. And then in general, I feel like the empty hops are really what's paying off for light. Oh, man. And the back air is going to catch that. Not going to kill, though. With how early we saw Jewel kill him game one, anything is still possible in this game. Good now play right there. Now down smash. The pivot down smash. That is going to take the set right there. So 2-0 for light, but uh, Jewel putting up a really good fight right there. He did. Like, if there are any players who are trying to pick up Robin, want a good reason to figure out what Robin can do here, and be like, hey, I want to play this character, I want to take this character seriously, yeah. that's a VOD to watch to show the capabilities of For what sure. Robin is. And, like, if there's any player to show what a character's capable of against, I feel like Light is, like, the ultimate as far as this is what aggro play is going yeah. to do to you. All right, and with that, I'm going to hop off the mic for a bit. Uh, I may be back on later, but Hangman, great we to got see our you one again. Set and a good set it was. Yeah, and uh, I, I will see you guys around. Follow me on Twitter there, and goodbye.